How to get a visa for India. If you plan to travel to India, then you will need to get a visa first. A visa is legal permission to enter a country for a specific purpose. One, the precise method for getting the visa will depend on the country where you live. For example, citizens of the United States will use a different website than those in other parts of the world. However, the general way of applying for a visa will not differ substantially regardless of where you live. Applying for a visa from outside the U.S. Identify the type of visa you need. India grants many different types of visas, depending on your reasons for visiting the country. The following are some of the visas you can get to visit India. Business visa. You should get a business visa if your company has business in Indiana. A business visa is not an employment visa. In fact, many people illegally use a business visa when what they want to do is work in the country. You will need a company's letter which shows a bona fide reason for going to India. Employment visa. If you have an offer for a job in India, then you can get an employment visa. You will need proof, such as an employment contract. Tourist visa. You can visit India as a tourist and stay for a maximum of 180 days. Passport holders of some countries can stay only a maximum of 90 days in a visa that is valid for 180 days. Check your visa carefully, and note that the count of the days the visa is valid for starts at the issue date of the visa, not your entry into the country. E-visas start at the date of entry, though. Student visa. You can get a student visa if you have been admitted to an Indian educational institution. It will last for the period of your course of study. Make sure your passport is not too old. Your passport should be valid for at least 180 days from the date you plan to enter India. If your passport expires within the next six months, you should renew it before applying for your visa. Also make sure that there are at least two blank pages in the passport book. The passport book should not have been mutilated or changed. 3. Give yourself sufficient time. Upon submission of your application, it will take a minimum of three days to approve the visa application. It could take longer, depending on the circumstances. If you are of Pakistani origin, then processing time could take much longer, up to seven or eight weeks. Five. Each visa is approved individually. If a group of people are applying together, such as a family, then the individual visas might not all be approved on the same day. Visit the appropriate website. You can apply for an India visa by visiting www.indianvisaonline.gov.in slash visa. Click on Regular Visa Application to apply for your visa. If you intend to visit India as a tourist for 60 days or less, then you can apply for an e-tourist visa, if you are eligible. You will get an email which you should print out and bring with you to receive the actual visa at immigration in India. Enter your information. You will be asked for a variety of information. You should gather this information so that you can sit down and complete the visa application all in one sitting. Your nationality. Your date of birth. Your expected date of arrival. The visa type that you are applying for. The name on your passport. Your passport information number, place of issue, dates of issue and expiration, your location of birth. Your religion. Upload a digital photo. You will need to upload a photo of yourself to complete the visa application. The photograph must meet particular requirements. JPEG format. Be a minimum of 10 kilobytes but not larger than 300 kilobytes. Of equal height and width. Have no shadows on the face or the background. The head should be centered in the middle of the frame, with the full head shown from top of hair to the bottom of the chin. Select an appointment date. You will have the option of selecting an appointment date with the Indian mission before submitting the application. You could also choose not to select an appointment date online but instead print off your application and schedule a meeting with the mission nearest you. In the United Kingdom, for example, there are missions in London, Edinburgh, and Birmingham. You will select the mission nearest you on the first screen of the application. After entering your country, a drop-down box will appear with the list of missions. Pay the fee. The amount you pay will vary, depending on the type of visa you are applying for and how long you intend to stay. The amount will be displayed when you finish your online application. The fee amount is non-refundable, even if the visa is declined or you need to withdraw your application. 10. Print out the application. You will have the option of printing out the application. Be sure to, at a minimum, write down your application identification number. 